Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Captain Lazy Guns. Welcome back to Ecotech. This is the low flying, not very good rocket. It is low flying, and it's not very good. It is designed to get things that are close to the base using very little efficiency. So, what's happened is that a ship has recently landed not far away from our launch pad, and we think that it may be from the northern areas of Kerbin. Now what this means is they have technology that we don't and if we can get that before they can Then we've got new technologies and new ship designs Also, they have stolen Bill That's pretty bad, but at Ecotech technology comes first because it's in our name. It's not Eco Bill It's Ecotech. We like tech first. So this is a ship that has landed and the other ship that we've made Oh, you can see here this is what Bill can see using his helmet cam. It's a nice, it's a nice ship. We have no idea how Bill even got in there because Bill was recently on an expedition with us. So don't have a clue. He's a spy, double agent. We don't know. We'll interrogate him later. We've got Richel, Lodden, and Shirley. They're about to take off. We are ready to fly off very, very slowly to the other rockets. So we're going to start turning a little bit towards the ocean and this is just going to take us nice and slowly towards the satellite which has crashed near us. Now why didn't we use anything more efficient or why didn't we use a space plane? Because that's boring. People want to see a space flight and this is a space flight. Look at that. It's got four rockets and once we're within about one kilometer of that ship we're going to let go of the little part of the rocket that's down the bottom there. You can see it's slowly being burnt apart by the very hot engines. And it's just going to fall to the ground. It's got a lot of parachutes. The parachutes are going to deploy. But sometimes it hits the water too hard. We've used this before. And it all explodes. So we've got some extra rockets on there to make sure that it hits the water at the best pace possible. It's also got its own engine so that it can skim towards the rocket so we've just let go of the other part there it's just gonna fly for god knows how long and we are slowly falling to the ground now and this is quite good because we're quite close to the untitled spacecraft so as you can see here we are slowly descending towards the ocean really we just used up so much money doing this launch but oh well science science can do what it wants so we're gonna speed this up a little bit because we don't really want to wait all of that time. We're still about 100 meters above the ground now. And we're going 10 meters a second. That's too fast to land in the ocean. That would tear some things apart. So we've got our little engines going now. And we're slowing down to about 1 meter a second. We're going to descend a little bit more until our arm hook thing is in the water. And there we go. No problems. And we've shot away those other engines. Now I've got to turn it and make sure that it's facing towards the untitled spacecraft. As you can see, it's got some nice lights on it. Ecotech are very famous for their nice lit up rockets. So the engine is deployed and we are heading towards that untitled spacecraft. We do not know what to expect. Bill could be rigged to explode. It could be poisonous. It could have really bad roach infestation. We don't want that here. So we're going to take it slow. We're going to turn off our lights so that if there are any secret northern kerbals up there, they won't jump out and start shooting at us because this is very inconspicuous. So what we've got on the front is we've got a hook arm dock thing. Basically what it's going to do is it's going to latch onto that rocket and then we're going to get another ship over and we'll be able to send this back to the space station for research and development. Alrighty, so we're pretty close now. We have to be a bit quiet because we don't want them to know that we're here even though we just went very, very fast towards them. So we're getting... I have no idea what this dude's name is. He's new. He only came into the office yesterday. He didn't even stop by and say hello, so... I don't know who this guy is, but he's going in to check the craft, make sure that Bill is okay. It doesn't look like there are any defense mechanisms. It honestly just looks like a satellite has fallen from the sky. There are no bombs or anything. Bill, we think, is okay. Our dude here can't manage to find a way inside. 
But Bill says that he can get out. He just didn't want to get out before because he's not very good at swimming. And if there was nothing around, he probably would have drowned. That's a very deep ocean there. You can see how deep it is below him. That's massive. That's a huge ocean. We are very proud of our big ocean here at Ecotech. So he's going to try and get back inside now. And then we're going to switch over to Bill. And we're going to watch Bill get back out of the spacecraft that he's in now and get over to us. So we're going to latch on. And we are connected now. We have our ship connected by the hook at its docking bay. But for some reason, we can't actually get Bill to go through a hook. He's not a ghost. He's not that weird girl who's, like, made out of mercury from that TV show that was in, like, the 90s. So we're going to have to get him out himself and get him into the other part of the rocket so that we can send them back to the space station and we can debrief. And he's just going to jump on now. Hopefully won't have too many difficulties. And that part's full. So he has no idea what to do. He's going to jump all over the rocket and look like a bit of an idiot. Come on, Bill. Don't do this to us. Why are you repacking the parachutes, Bill? Ugh. Bill's not very good at his job. We're not sure why he's sort of one of the most famous astronauts here. Jeb. Jeb's the real hero. He just broke off a... Bill, what are you doing? Just... <laughs> God damn it. Okay, Bill. Just get in that section. We'll get you back. We're recovering the vessel. We'll send over a ship to come and get you guys. We're going to light it up so that they know where to get it. And they are now safe and sound back at the Ecotech facility. Anyway, guys, it is time for us to debrief Bill and make sure that he doesn't know anything that we don't about the northern areas. My name's Captain Laserguns. See you next episode on Ecotech.